At MikeY, we're always keen to share methods and techniques to get the best results with our products. Here's Matt with his angle on corners. In traditional buildings, rendering and plastering are usually worked freehand depending on the building style. Where we are in the southwest of the UK, the prevailing local style often features external corners finished in a small radius curve. Here we are using our unhead lime mortar to demonstrate, although in three coat work you can start to form this curve in the earlier coats. However, the same principles apply to other lime based renders too. If you're in a position to render both the walls on either side of the corner to start, then the new mortar can be worked from the corner back towards it. It just helps with the compression and keeping the mortar on the wall. Mortar is carried on the rear edge or the near edge of the trowel and applied with a firm, smooth action to give a good adhesion. Don't worry if some comes away, you can return to it as you move through the job. Work from the top down, applying to alternate sides as you go, pressing the mortar into the existing float coat. Movements of the trowel up and away from the corner will help to form the render without detaching it from the substrate. Moving the trowel downwards will probably pop it off the wall. Trowel strokes made with a firm even pressure will help the mortar to adhere. There's no need to rush, take your time, imperfections visible now can be removed in the following stages. Working from side to side, pressing and compacting. Don't worry about any cracking at this stage, at points you're pushing mortar against nothing, so cracking is just a normal part of it. When you're satisfied with the adhesion of the render, it will be possible to work the trowel around the corner in a smooth motion. Some cracks may appear but these can be dealt with as you go. As I said, the render is still very wet at this stage and you're pushing it against itself. A handy method to further smooth and form the corner is to use a small sheet of polythene or cling film held at either end then pulled smoothly up the corner. Keeping the top part off the wall slightly and use the middle and bottom parts of the sheet to avoid digging in. Now you can see the final form appearing. Any slight dips and depressions can be corrected with a small addition of mortar. Work gently back from the depression to the surrounding area. Later that day, we return to the wall to float the render. This process helps to compress the mortar and gives a nice finish. It shows that as the drying process happens gradually, you can put more and more pressure on and shaping can take place. The render will need protection with a breathable finish. So when it's ready, we would apply a lime wash or a silicate masonry paint. Have a look on our website or contact us for more details.